When I looked at YouTube and the news in general on New Year's Day, there was a lot of people pointing out the hypocrisy in the usual virtues, virtue signalling of Sadiq Khan's firework display. We have the same comments every single year. Puts his little messages in there trying to relay his own political and idealistic agenda to everybody else. And one of the interesting things was, did he actually break his own ULES rules? I thought, OK, I'll get on that bandwagon. And that's what I did. I come up with this video here, which you can see on the channel, which I released on New Year's Day. You can let me know your opinion on that. But once all the smoke clears, pardon the pun, and the fireworks and everything else, and we have to go through another year, we're left with the serious matters that, you know, really matter to people. Now, before I go on, if you think Sadiq Khan needs to go and people have had just about enough of him, subscribe to the channel, because I can tell you there's a lot of people here that think the same thing. Talking of more serious issues, this is Harry Pittman, 16 years old. He was out of his mates on New Year's Eve looking for a good time, as 16-year-olds do on a night out. Speaking of which, I think I just heard my 19-year-old go out as I hit the record button, the only difference is this young man will never come home again because he was brutally slain New Year's Eve on Primrose Hill, just out with his mates. Yet another statistic in a ever downward spiral in London of crime. It's disgraceful that this continues. There's a very interesting statistic. Mr. Austin, this was an interviewer, pointed out that official figures showed knife point robberies were up in London by 36%, equivalent to 8,000 incidents, in contrast to a 5% drop in the West Midlands and a 16% drop in Great Greater Manchester. He asked, why is London doing so badly on this and robberies as well? Yeah, I, you see this again and again and, and again in the news. If you were to type this subject into Google, you'd get so many young faces, so many victims. It really is deplorable. Now, <laughs> let's have a look at uh, a little excerpt of an interview with Mr. Khan, see what he had to say about it. There's a 5% drop in the West Midlands, 16% drop in Greater Manchester. Why is London doing so badly on knife crime and knife robbery? Well, the reason why the Commissioner and I uh, convened a mobile phone operators, manufacturers and platforms is because actually the biggest personal robbery is of mobile phones. Now, we know uh, 20, 30 years ago, car manufacturers managed to reduce the theft of car stereos, reduce the thefts of uh, the, the tom-toms from... So, in effect, he's completely evaded the question and he's blaming the whole affair on people getting their mobile phones half inched and towards the end of that interview he said he's going to work to make second-hand mobile phones useless if they get pinched well that's utter garbage because that technology exists already for example i can log on to my son's iphone icloud i can see where he is and if anything ever befell his phone i could make it useless so that is a half answer to a very big problem that he doesn't appear to want to deal with. It's not only things getting pinched, it's people being started on unprovoked, gangs and all sorts of other things. And you have this, you know, this situation with two-tier policing on top of that, which we've experienced over the last few months. It is an absolute disaster. And there isn't the presence to be able to deal with it any longer. And you get... Young victims like Harry Pittman, who had a whole life ahead of him, snuffed out. Disgusting, Mayor Khan, disgusting. And I hope when it comes to the election, enough people do what needs to be done and show you with the vote what they thought of your last few years in office. Let me know what you think of this. If you want to see any other videos related to this subject, you can start with that one there. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.